this gonna work? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am trying something here. This camera better not fall. Okay. You guys got to see how to destroy a floppy disk. You guys got to learn how to destroy a VHS tape and why you should do that to a floppy and a VHS tape. Now we got music uh, tapes, cassette tapes, I guess you'd call it, and why you should destroy a cassette tape. Or, yeah, a cassette tape. The reason why you des should destroy a cassette tape is because if your voice is on it, or if you took the time to record the music on it, you don't want someone else to find it in the trash if it flies away or gets away or they were digging the trash and they saw it and they go hey why did so and so put this in the garbage and then they play it and they're like ooh free music and they didn't have to work hard to get it so to help you guys out this is how you destroy it. it's kinda like how you destroy a VHS tape now we got lucky with the VHS tape and it let us get inside of it and we could cut it up and stuff like that that usually never happens so I doubt we can get inside these things and do the same thing but if we could that would be so cool but anyways something I want to teach you guys if you ever had to record on a cassette tape again and I was talking about something on the VHS tape one about how you'd put tape inside the hole and then you'd put tape on the outside and then you could record over it well, and I said you could do that on a, a, a cassette tape too if it's a band or or if it's cheap at like say at a garage sale or something and you bought it and then you could just take it and you could reuse it instead of getting recordable tapes of it. Now, I don't know how good you can see this. Maybe I should set up my flashlight for a second so you can kind of see that. You see that right inside there where there's kind of squares? This one has it too. Is that easier to see? There's squares and basically those squares is to stop you from recording over this. If you want to record on it, um, what you have to do is, you don't have to put tape inside the middle of there, like I thought, but you do have to, you cover it and make this whole, can you see it? Make this whole thing flat, so it doesn't have this little hole, basically. And they didn't think we would figure this out when they made these. You put tape over here, you make sure it's smooth on the other side, bada bing bada boom, you got a recordable cassette tape. Now, okay, now this one is not a recordable cassette tape, I mean, excuse me, this one is a recordable cassette tape, and yes, it has the holes, But it also has this, okay, it has the holes, but it also has another extra spot right here that makes it allowable to record. Now, when I saw these tapes, these cassette tapes, I was like, how am I going to make it so I can record on them? And I tried everything in the book, and that's when I came up with this idea, and it worked, so that's why I did it. Now this one, there's cases for some of your VHS, not VHS, uh, cassette tapes, so you have this. And you can take it out just like this, boom. And it also has, if you feel it, yes it has the holes, but if you feel it, it's, it's straight across, it's not it's straight across and you can't put anything inside there because yes it shows that it's a hole but it's covered they've covered it for you 
why they didn't on this one, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to destroy one. And what? And you don't really have to do much to destroy one. All you need to do is what I like to do is take off the, the label so that someone can't go, oh, that was a stand by me and they destroyed it. Oh, why they do that? Let me try and see if I can fix it. Because just like the VHS tape, you can put tape on one side to fix it and bada bing bada boom. And we don't want them to be able to do that. So, this is, so I'm not going to show you on all of these how to do it. You basically do the same thing on all of these. I'm just showing you on this one where you see the tape right down there. What I like to do is you gotta have the scissors. This time I don't have to go run and get scissors. And you take the middle part and you just pull. You know how sometimes you put a cassette in and sometimes it'll eat it up and do this. And then you have to get a pin for the middle part and wind it back up. I don't have a pin to show you. Or you could use your finger. See it's winding back up. Well, this I like to use to do this, and then I just take it and I cut it, and I just cut it and cut it, and then I pull, and I cut it and I cut it and I cut it, and I just keep pulling and pulling until I can't pull no more. And once it says you're done, you can't pull no more. Then. I don't have one to show you. What I should have done was get one ready to to show you. Here, here's one that I could show you. So I basically got it out. Okay, it cut itself because this one's at the end and it won't let me go anymore. So what I like to do is take this, open it up on this side, and then I'll open this one up on this side just because. And yes, they could take the time to bang, 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 and beat it, and get the stuff out and put it on another, you know, people are fancy enough or are smart enough, they know how to do that kind of stuff. We here do not. And also, what I would like to do, since these are recordable, I would like to make it so they're not recordable after I made it recordable, and don't want to show them how to do it, because we want them to do the work themselves on figuring out how to do it. And when they listen to this, they think it's for now, Richie, and then they go, oh crap, it's someone else's music. How the fuck did they do that? Or did they screw it up? And that's why this is in the trash. Who knows? These ain't popular anymore anyway. But for the people that still have them and don't know how to destroy them, now you know. So, it's at the end. You can either pull with your hand like that. Like I just did. And then it loses the thing so you can't go in and find it. And see, I could just go like this until it breaks, and then I could get in the inside and do what I did with the VHS tape. Or I can just keep going with this side and go. Now, if you don't want to wheel out the whole thing, just do some of it. And then go to the end here and cut off as much as you can. Now you're thinking... There's a little bit right there. How do we get rid of that? Well, I just pull more out because I'm an idiot. But you get as close to that hole as you can. And I'm sorry if you can't see that. And you cut it. And try to lose the little... See if you can get in it. Okay, you can't. Boom, it's done. Now you can throw it away. And you don't have to reel out the whole damn fucking thing because that will take fucking forever to do and then you have all this strand 
so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it to all these tape uh, cassette tapes and get rid of them now if you're thinking oh I bet you next she's gonna do records and eight tracks and DVDs and all that stuff no I am not because one I don't have an eight track and if I did and it has has it like this I would just do the same thing as I did the VHS and this and for records I wouldn't be that dumb to throw them away I would at least give them to Goodwill or sell them or something because they're worth a lot of money because a lot of people are buying records right now but DVDs if it's a recordable DVD that you have made all you have to do is just break it in four cut it up break it be careful and safe when you do that and then just throw it away and and voila if you have any questions comment down below and let me know and I will talk to you guys later so thank you for watching and later haters bye now